So next time some situation makes you angry or depressed or in a level desire or fearful, when just take a closer look at what you are attached to and what you resist and just analyze it and because now you know that your attachment to it is what creates your suffering and it has nothing to do with circumstances. Maybe now you will understand a quote from Gandhi that's really not that well understood and he said no one can hurt me without my permission. What do you mean no one can hurt me without my permission? <laughs> I mean, of course they can. Well, actually they can't because you being hurt is only a matter of your own attachments and your own resistances to that particular situation. So let's say, for example, that after this lecture, someone will come to you and say, you know what, I've been watching you for the whole evening and you are really an annoying person. <laughs> that has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with that person's attachments and aversions. So maybe you remind him or her of someone that he really dislike. And that cre creates in his own mind feelings and thoughts and perceptions and even memories <laughs> that are unpleasant and they are getting what they don't like. And if you are really smart, you can take advantage of that. Whenever you are annoyed with some uh, people or situations or concepts that someone is talking about and you feel, you know, angry or you have desire to see, make them see things your way, just take a look at your own resistances, at your own clingings and cravings and graspings. Why that situation, that person, that idea, that concept, why that makes you angry? Why that puts you in a vibration that you do not prefer? And by doing that, you will find more about yourself. You will find out what your attachments are, what your resistances are, and then you can just let them go. And that person, that situation that made you angry or anxious was a great teacher and thank you, I am so grateful <laughs> that you created a situation or concept or whatever that made me angry or that put me in a level of fear or that puts me in a level of guilt and shame because now I know more about me and now I can correct my own resistances toward that idea or that person or that situation because I know that my vibratory state has nothing to do with outer circumstances, only with how am I going to respond, what my vibratory attitude is going to be towards that and that has everything to do with me and me only or to be more precise, with my own attachments and with my own versions. So just let go and you will feel like some space is creating inside you, some, something was released. You will feel lighter and that is a really, really good thing. You know, just let it go. Learn from that situation and then let it go.